Hey guys, welcome to another bench. Today we'll be playing Control. If this laptop is made for anything, the one that comes with a 30 series GPU, Control is that kind of game. It has DLSS, it has ray tracing. So this GPU is made for this game. So what I'm going to do today is turn on RTX, turn off RTX, DLSS on, DLSS off, DLSS and RTX off. So we'll, we're going to bench every possible method, every possible way. And without further ado, let's get started. I know why am I using the ROG Keystone? That's because my next video is going to be about the ROG Keystone. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Uh, and here goes, control. Yeah, if you're wondering, GPU is overclocked at half. Now I put it at half because of all the stability issues I was getting when I put it to full. CPU, same thing, no difference. Here goes. This game is not a, really a CPU bound game, so I didn't think of overclocking the CPU. All the power should go probably to the GPU. All right, let's begin. Options, here they are, display options. Everything is at full. Ultra, full, full, ray tracing, every single possible. I off, uh, I off motion blur because I don't like that. DLSS, on the other hand, this is running, it's rendering. That means your game is actually rendering 720p. Okay, so enough of the settings part. Let's get to it. Continue game. Here we are. It's really loud. I'm just going to reduce it slightly. I don't want it all caught up in a loop. It's okay. We're getting 65 FPS. Not bad. All right. So I'm going to keep replaying this mission to show you guys each and every possible detail in different profiles. All right. This is an ultra full settings. Observe the reflections, guys. How the light falls in. I mean, DLSS is that. I would. I cannot. Whoa! The enemies have arrived. Here they are. I usually anticipate them to come in before I do all this. Okay. Why not use this chlorofluoro thingy? Yup. That kind of did the trick. Armored guys. Holy crap! Do I have anything fire hazardous here? Oh, that's something. Can I focus and pick? No, I can't. Special delivery! Special delivery! I want more special delivery. Did someone order a can of soda? It's wrong time to come to work, right? Too bad. Alright, now dropping the graphics. Let us disable ray tracing. We'll see the differences. Let's go to display and disable ray tracing and begin. Hmm. Getting like twice the FPS than before. All right, so if you can notice, there is a bit of detail drop. <laughs> it feels smoother. It definitely does feel like you know, like I'm sliding on butter. But then still, no DLSS. You can see <laughs> the character isn't being reflected on the windows and stuff like that. You can observe no reflections, no reflections at all. And the character itself, she just looks white skinned. Come on, enemies, where are you? Don't let me down. I know you're here somewhere. You gotta be. Probably check this cabin. Some random chick running around an FBI building with a can of soda. <laughs> I call this can of soda, I know it's a fire extinguisher. Can of soda. Okay, I give up guys, they're not coming. All right, so you know what? I'm gonna show you guys about uh, disabling DLSS. DLSS is turned off. I want the native resolution to kick in. Let's go. Bumping up to the full native resolution, 1080p. I can't tell the difference, guys. I think DLSS was a lot better. I could tell the hair looks weird. This is kind of sparkling effect. Not bad. Look at that. It's going. It. It. it the, the. The frames. It's exactly as if I was using RTX with DLSS. I think RTX. I think DLSS is a great deal in this game. I'm getting a funny feeling. My enemies will be there. Come on. Yup. They never depress. Right on schedule. Okay. I always want to try the soda can. I love ending it with the soda can. Okay, curiosity. What happens if we disable DLSS and on RTX? Interesting question. Let's just put that to the test. Hi. Let's go. 
Well, that is just embarrassing. 48 FPS at its max. Look at that, RTX on, reflections on. <laughs> I preferred it with DLSS, that's my word. All right, all this time RTX and DLSS is on, but just out of curiosity, what happens if we actually drop everything to low? You know what? Uh, still keeping DLSS and ray tracing on. Let's bump down all the settings to low. Go ahead, put everything to low, and let's see, did we get an FPS gain? Well, the answer might be a tiny gain, 71 FPS. 72, that is still the same as having ultra graphics with DLSS. Again, the latest 30 series for ray tracing and DLSS uses their own tensor cores and ray tracing cores, irrespectively. I think I changed the order of what I just said, but then still, irrespectively, might be true. DLSS and RTX on, bumping down the graphics does not help. Look at that, 60 FPS, we got that with ultra graphics. Oh, here you are, I missed you guys so much. Here you go. Why don't you chill out, you look red hot. You wanna speak? Go ahead. Gave you the means, now you're dead. Wow, look at that. Damn. Alright guys, that's it. I think that's all the possible settings you could have. I know there's a medium, but I seriously don't want to do that. It's just a waste of time. So stay subscribed, I'll be discussing the Keystone, or uh, what's that, the ROG key, in the next video. Everything gotta know. And all the peripherals, I'll show you the cameras, I'll show you all the swap thingies for the customization. Stay subscribed and like the video, please. It really helps me to make videos every day. And stay cool. Stay safe, too. I'll see you next time. Take care.